What's up squad fam, it's your boy Cosmic Disturbance coming back at you with another Trailmakers video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. So I wake up today and I'm checking my email like I normally do and I see this email from Kaya from Trailmakers and I'm like, hmm, let's check this out. So I'm reading this email and the email is basically, you know, teasing some uh, some upcoming stuff for Trailmakers and also mentioning a new weekly challenge, which is the school challenge. And I'm like, hmm, I don't typically participate in weekly challenges, but for whatever reason, this one is, uh, is, you know, piquing my interest, so why not build something? And I did just that, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title. I, uh, for whatever reason, the magic school bus just popped into my head, and I was like, I gotta build this. I gotta build this for the school challenge, and I did just that. I was going to time lapse it for you guys, but it was actually a fairly long build trying to get this thing to work properly, so I'm just going to show it off to you guys. I think it's pretty darn cool, uh, but I will leave you guys to be the judge of that. <laughs> Let's land this thing on the carrier. Perfect. Lost some parts. No big deal. We're all good. <laughs> now, not only are we going to be checking out my magic school bus, I also figured we would check out what other submissions uh, have come in so far for this weekly challenge and also see if somebody else has built a magic school bus. Really curious to see that, but uh, well, without further ado guys, let me show you what I got up to today. Boom. Here we go, guys. <laughs> so for reference, I'm going to show you uh, what I use to kind of, uh, you know, help me build this bus. Obviously, it's uh, it's a little blocky, but that's okay. Um, I tried to make it as, uh, you know, as close to the reference photo as I could. But uh, obviously, I, I was limited to, uh, you know, specific blocks and specific shapes. So it, uh, well, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I think it looks really awesome. I love the googly eyes. I, um, I did add quite a bit of features to this thing that I'm going to show you guys in a second here. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I know where to start. I know where to start. This thing was insanely hard to get to fly. So insanely hard that I had to cheat a little bit. But I think, uh, you know, I think the final result is worth it. So I am not, uh, I'm not too upset about that. But I guess uh, first and foremost, let's get into the bus and show off some features. Or maybe we should fly first. Or maybe we should show off some features. I don't really know. What should we do? Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's show off some features. So the first really cool feature that I thought that I, uh, you know, integrated into this thing was the lights. So if you press number three... Oh, that was not supposed to lag like that. Let's try that again. There you go. <laughs> the stop sign folds out and all the lights start blinking like they would on a school bus. I thought that was really neat. You know, you can... Uh, you, know, you can drive this thing. It is a little back heavy. It is a little back heavy. Got a lot of thrusters back there. You know, you roll up to a bus stop. Stop, right? You know, you flick out your uh, your stop sign. Make sure the kids don't get killed. Awesome. Got all the flashing lights there. I thought that was cool. Doesn't do a whole lot. Obviously has no real function, but I thought it was a cool little detail to add to this thing. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Now, another detail that I was really excited about is making the side door. Obviously, we don't have a back door because we've got thrusters sticking out the back, like on the Magic School Bus. But we did have to make a side door. Now, the side door I wanted to make kind of like as flush as possible. Um, however, if you've ever been in a real school bus before, you know that those doors did not seal well at all. So, you know, I had to... I had to make it stick out just uh, just for realism a bit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the door has actually two functions. The first function is a piston that sucks it in, just like that. And then another function, which is just a pivot that opens the door. Now, I try to sequence this, right? I try to make it all in one button. However, when you're closing the door, the sequence has to get reversed. And I have absolutely no clue how to you know, reverse the sequence in Trailmakers with the logic. I just, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if it's even possible. So in order to close the door, you just have to basically press the buttons in the opposite order, right? You press five to pivot the door inwards, and then you press four to piston the door outwards. There we go. And now that we've picked up the children, we can turn off the lights, you know, close up the stop sign and Take them to school. Take them on a field trip. <laughs> so let's get this thing turned around and uh, I'll show you guys how this thing flies. Now, like I said, it was extremely difficult to get this thing to fly. In fact, it doesn't really fly. I had to use gimbal jets to get this thing to hover so that it can get up into the air and, uh, you know, quote unquote fly. So 
Button one is uh, is gimbals. Button two is actually a separate gimbal up front that tilts the whole bus up for takeoff, and that really really helps it take off because otherwise it's just it's. It doesn't take off. It doesn't fly. Um, just to demonstrate that to you guys, I'm going to try and take this thing off the carrier without any gimbal jets. So let's give that a go. Thrusters activated. Now I also have my raw jets kind of, uh, you know, sequenced there because I wanted them to, you know, provide thrust at all times. But as you can see, I'm pitching all the way up and the bus just doesn't want to fly. <laughs> so that is why I installed the gimbal thrusters and I'm going to show you guys the inside of the whole vehicle later. For some reason the lights sometimes get stuck. There we go. I'll show you guys the insides of the vehicle later to kind of show you how it works. Maybe you guys can uh, you know provide me with some sort of tips on how to make this thing lighter, uh, you know, how to make it fly. Obviously, we can't really make it more aerodynamic. It's a freaking bus. It quite literally weighs one ton, I believe. Yep, it weighs over a ton. So it's like, how do you make a one ton brick fly? Well, you you probably don't. <laughs> um, unless I had wings sticking out way far out, I don't think this thing, you know, has any hope of flying with its current weight and shape. And obviously extending the wings all the way out would have made it not look like the magic school bus because the whole point is to try and make it look like the magic school bus, right? Like I don't want to make just a flying bus. I want to make it look like the magic school bus. Um, even like for example with the wheels, right? I had the wheels flush with uh, I guess the edges of the wheel wells, but I decided to narrow it out because it looks more like the magic school bus. Now unfortunately because of that when the bus turns now it kind of tips kind of tips, so you have to be really careful with your turning, right? So this is more of like a, you know, it's a functional build, but I was definitely going for aesthetics to try and make it look like a magic school bus. <laughs> um, but I guess now I'll show you guys how this thing flies with, with gimbals. So for takeoff, we're just gonna get a bit of a run up. We're gonna engage the thrusters. We're gonna turn on our gimbals. We're gonna turn on the second gimbal and we are off. Boom, now we are flying guys. Now for turning in midair, I actually have mini jets on the inside of the vehicle simply because, well, I didn't know how else to turn this thing. I couldn't really fit ailerons. I couldn't really do a whole lot of that. I do have elevators inside. As you can see, maybe they're kind of moving around in there. I'll show you later, um, but that's about it. You know, I can pitch up, I can pitch down and I can kind of do yaw with some internal thrusters. The biggest problem is that the gimbal thrusters are constantly trying to make this thing level. You know, so when I turn, it uh, it tries to level it out and it just, it does some funky stuff. And unfortunately, there isn't really a whole lot that I can do because if I turn off the gimbals, well, we kind of just not, yeah, we don't really fly. We start losing altitude. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But with the gimbal thrusters, this thing is this thing is awesome, guys. Like it's it's pretty darn good. I can turn off number two thruster, and it uh, it kind of levels out. If I want to gain more altitude, well, I can just throw on the number two again. It throws on that one extra gimbal jet, and uh, you know I can I can gain some elevation. It really sounds weird how those thrusters are alternating, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So. You know, I can definitely turn around in midair. It's just, uh, it does take a little bit of effort. And uh, we're gonna try and land back on the carrier here just to kind of demonstrate that aspect of it. At the end of the day, guys, it's the magic school bus. It doesn't necessarily have to fly like a real plane, right? Because it's magic. <laughs> oh boy. So boy, there's a lot of drifting going on too for some reason. I think there's some kind of like, uh, not a suspension glitch, but some kind of glitch going on that keeps turning my vehicle to the side. I'll show you guys when we're landed, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm extremely, I'm extremely excited about this build. It, it makes me really happy. <laughs> so let's try and get it landed here. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah, good enough. We didn't lose any parts. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked on this thing. Yeah, see, the vehicle's just turning. The vehicle's just turning. I don't know why it's doing that, but it but it loves to do that. A lot of my vehicles actually do that. Open the door. Pick up the children. Pile the children in. Excellent. Going on an adventure. Number three, and we're off. 
Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. It's awesome. I love it. I actually tried to make the top fins yaw, but it would just flip the vehicle because once again, the gimbal jets are constantly fighting to keep the vehicle upright and it was causing a lot of weird stuff. So I just, you know, I removed the servo from there and I... You know, through some mini thrusters inside to, to help it turn better. I mean, it's not the most stable thing in the world, but it is the magic school bus, so it uh, it's bound to be a little wonky. <laughs> I mean, it's a bus, guys. It's a bus. It's a bus that needs to fly. I don't know how... how oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know how else you would make this thing fly well without doing some really crazy stuff. I tried to fit this thing with so many wings on the inside, hoping that it would gain enough lift, but it just didn't, guys. I think it comes to a point where it doesn't matter how much lift you add, because the more wings you add, you, you're just adding more weight, and it uh, it doesn't... The math just doesn't work out. The physics just does not work out. So I basically had to make do with gimbals and uh, some other mini thrusters to gain the control that I want for this thing. The other problem with the gimbal thrusters, as you can see, guys, is that they, they kind of send the whole thing into an oscillation. It doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen, but... It does happen more often than not, and it's a little, uh, it's a little wonky, but that's okay. That's okay. See, it's kind of leveled out now. Perfect. There we go. Throw on two again, because we need to climb. As far as flying school buses go, I think this is one of the better ones. <laughs> I haven't flown many school buses. Oh, boy. Okay, everybody pile out. We're here. But anyway, guys, you get the point of that. Let me show you exactly what I did, or at least, you know, try to do. I can already tell I'm going to get a lot of suggestions on how to make this better. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it because I would love to make this thing a little more stable, you know? Um, it's a little, little too unstable for me right now. So, as you can see here, we took off the roof. I have a bunch of gimbal thrusters. I have them at the top so that uh, it doesn't want to flip the vehicle upside down. I also have some gimbal thrusters like underneath the wheel wells there, or rather above the wheel wells. There's one there, there's one there, and there's two in the middle. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Not a whole lot of seating room for the children. Let me put it that way. <laughs> So, lots of wings, as you guys can see. Um, these wings right here, actually, here, let me remove these guys. As you can see, I've got some elevators here that try and pitch the whole bus up and down. Uh, it does do the trick, but like I said, it does need the assistance from the gimbal thrusters, so there's that. Um, now, for my turning, for my turning in midair, my solution was to basically have just a mini thruster on every corner of the bus. And so if you press A, for example, then, uh, well, this thruster is going to turn on and this thruster is going to turn on. And if, you, and if you press D, then this thruster is going to turn on and this thruster is going to turn on and basically try and pivot the whole bus around, uh, I guess, the center axis. <laughs> that does seem to work. It seems to work a lot better than anything else that I have tried. So, you know... That's, uh, that's what I'm sticking with, but I don't know what else to show you guys on this thing. I mean, you know, I try to add as much detail as I could, you know, I got some mirrors on there, got some bumpers, you know, I've got some trim, some golden trim, or chrome trim, rather. I actually had to unlock, spent like 6,000 credits to unlock bumpers and trim, because I was like, man, I gotta... I gotta pimp this bus out. <laughs> I got a cool grill up front. The googly eyes, I think, make it. I gotta say, the fenders were the hardest part to make as well. They're, uh... They're, they were a bit of a difficult one, but yeah, there's my bus guys. Oh, the other thing too, I had to take the suspension off the rear because the back is so heavy. It, no matter how stiff the suspension was, even on multiple suspension pieces, it was still like bottoming out. So the rear is literally just a uh, rigid suspension, but the front does have a suspension, you know, just to absorb some of the impact on landing. So yeah. That's, uh, that's my bus, guys. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, because I'm literally just showing off my bus. I probably should have time-lapsed this, but, like I said, I did rebuild it. Well, I, actually, I didn't say this. I rebuilt this thing a couple of times, just trying to get it to look good, trying to get it to fly good, and this is basically as, as good as it got. What did I, what did I screw up? I, 
I screwed something up. What did I screw up? You know what? Let's just let's just delete this bus. Let's just let's just load another bus in. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. One more flight on the bus. I love this thing. As weird as it is to fly, I actually really enjoy flying it. Um, the other thing that I thought I could maybe do is instead of having all of these blocks, right? Like for example, this block right here, this four by eight weighs 10 kilograms. And I was like, well, what if I remove that block and remove this block and remove this block and remove this block and then just have like a skin, you know, like an armor skin here so that maybe I can save some weight. And then I went and checked the weight of the armor skin. So just for reference, we would need four of these armor plates to basically fill up one of those four by eight blocks, right? Now here's the kicker guys. One of those armor plates weighs exactly 2.4, 2.5 kilograms, meaning that four armor plates would weigh just as much as one of these four by eight blocks. So I don't know how to make this thing lighter, guys. I really don't know. Uh, short of just making this thing look uglier and making it look like a skeleton or like fully extending the wings, that's that's about it. That's That's about all I can do. Um, actually, while we're here, I never tried this. I never tried this, but while we're here, let's throw a bunch of wings on this thing and just see what happens. Let's, let's just see if this thing has any hope of flying with a really big wingspan. Might need to add more than that, to be honest. All right, let's go. How are we doing here? I don't see any takeoff. I don't see any takeoff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, kind of. <laughs> so my thrust is just way too far back. What might have to actually happen is we might have to move all these wings higher up. I think that's what has to happen. So let's just move them all the way up and then we're going to double them. So I did say we're going to double them, but I decided to triple them. <laughs> let's see how this works, guys. Like, I don't know if I'm just adding way more weight than I'm actually adding lift, you know, like it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll we'll give it a try how we do oh it's lifting up it's lifting up it's lifting up well i mean that works kind of kind of works but you see what i mean though guys right like i would have to i would have to add crazy wings to this thing just to make it fly without gimbal thrusters granted i could now get rid of the gimbal thrusters and save some weight but oh boy oh boy it's not pulling up <laughs> we need more wings we need more wings Doctor prescribed more wings. So I guess these wings don't weigh a whole lot. Uh, 1.5 kilograms, not too shabby actually. So I do actually think they provide more lift and then they add weight, but I just couldn't fit enough inside the bus. You know, I just, I honestly couldn't. I tried, I even started fitting wings underneath the bus and then I was like, it looks so ugly and it still doesn't work properly. So let's see how this goes, I'm really curious. I think this will provide enough lift. We'll see though. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Why are we lifting from the... Oh, too much lift in the back. Too much lift in the rear. Too much lift in the rear. No. <laughs> oh, we got way too much lift in the rear there, guys. Let's go back because I can't take off from the bottom of the ocean. So yeah, because I already have a ton of wings in the back, I think... Uh, these guys right here just need to maybe get moved to the front. Oh, yeah. That is way too much lift up front now, guys. Oh, my goodness. Let's delete a couple. There we go. Let's try that. I was not prepared to uh, do this kind of experimenting with this thing. But you know what? I figured I would, uh, I would show you guys what it would take to actually get this thing to fly uh, without gimbal thrust. All right. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Lift up. We're lifting up. Excellent. Kind of, kind of. Okay, perfect. Gain altitude, gain altitude. I mean, it's a lot better. Definitely flies better now, guys. I definitely think my thrust is a little too low. Um, my, I, I have four dragon jets on this thing and they're kind of like on the floor of the bus. So it makes sense why it wants to, uh, you know, pitch it up and pivot over itself backwards. Um, makes total sense, but yeah, there you go. This thing flies without gimbal thrust, but it requires a lot of wings. A lot of wings, guys. It'd be cool if I could, like, hide them somehow, but fortunately, Trailmakers doesn't support magic, so I can't just, like, fathom them in and out of existence. <laughs> I suppose I could use a transformation function to have a regular bus and then the bus with wings, but um, actually, I mean, we could do that. We could do that. <laughs> I'll try that right now. Oh, and we landed. Look at that landing, guys. That was awesome. 
Okay, I actually do want to save this thing just for fun. And now, we're going to get this guy to be... Aw, oh, man. My transformations are all set up for my campaign. That's okay, I can reset them. Alrighty, so now... <laughs> I can do this. Boom. <laughs> right? Now it's the magic school bus. <laughs> there you go, guys. So, I guess there was... Uh, Another way to cheat making this build, but I didn't want to use transformations. I wanted to have one physical build that is capable of driving and flying. And I do think I achieved that, but you guys let me know. You guys let me know what you think of that build. I um, put a lot of time into it, so be nice. <laughs> Flies minty now. This is awesome. <laughs> it is kind of slow, but that's okay. It is a bus. It's a flying bus. What do we expect? gonna land this thing here let's go i'm gonna land this thing here and i want to check out some of the other submissions that have already come in for this challenge ah oh, the landings are just so good with all the wings i love it i love it okay kids pile in <laughs> the door makes me happy i tried making a folding door right i was gonna make it four wide but then the four wide didn't look scale with the rest of the uh bus i was gonna say truck and I figured, you know, I'd do a three-wide door, but then I couldn't do a folding door, so I did this kind of door. I like my door. I think the door is cool. Alrighty, let's see what else is on the workshop. We are going to search for school, hashtag school. Nope, that's not school. Challenge. Oh, not a whole lot, guys. Not a whole... Oh, look at that. A school dude. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start with the first one. It's, uh, it looks like a school by Skitty. Let's subscribe to this. Let's subscribe to all of them and check all of them out. Alrighty, up first is the school by Skitty. This would be cool for, like, roleplay and stuff. Oh, what? I'm missing something? Windsock? Can you go inside? Oh, man, can you actually go... Dude! Dude! This is so cool! He's got a projector screen? What? Haha, <laughs> that's awesome! Yo, the projector screen is killer. Can I get in somehow? No available seat. That's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to get a different camera view here, but it's uh, it's hard to... This is cool, man. I love the projector. The projector, like, makes the whole build for me, I think. This is so awesome. Let's go back into first person here. I wish first person wasn't so, so like, big. You know what I'm saying? Big? Maybe I can adjust my field of view here. Don't think I can adjust my field of view, but that's okay. Man. He's got like a, like a lamp over top of painting. How does he, is that a texture? That's gotta be a texture. Oh man, this is so cool. This is really awesome. Good job, Skitty. The chairs are neat. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well, this is neat. This is where I'm gonna be picking up the kids from school. <laughs> I really should have made my bus have more seats so that me and the boys can uh, go to school and then, uh, you know, go for a rip in the bus. <laughs> this is neat. I like that he used spoilers for shelves. That's clever. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Got some lighting. What is that? Oh, it's a fan. He has a fan. Can we turn the fan on somehow? Is there any buttons on this thing? Hmm. I don't think we can turn the fan on, but that's okay. <laughs> this is cool. I really like this. All right, let's check out the next one, guys. Let's check out what else uh, people have built for this challenge. So up next is a school bus. The school bus in the morning be like. When mom drives the bus. Instructions. Drive to a cliffside. T for action. Press T and when lights turn off, start driving. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I'm missing some blocks too. That sucks. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, look at all those thrusters. <laughs> I guess uh, this is also kind of a magic school bus in the way. Oh, man. All right. Well, I got to get to a cliff top. The instructions say I got to get to a cliff. All righty. That was an easy way to get to a cliff top. So instructions tell me to... Oh, man. This thing is just as tippy as mine. I no longer feel bad. <laughs> All righty. So apparently I got to get to a cliff and I got to press T. Uh-oh. Wait, what? I gotta do that again. I don't know what any of these buttons do. Let's press T again. Oh boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Guys, I don't think it's a safe way to travel to school. <laughs> I am pretty sure the kids are not going to be alive by the time they get to school. <laughs> Jeez. That's horrible just saying that. I don't understand what that does. What does that do? Is it like, is it supposed to be like a lowrider? Yeah, it just like yeets something out of the bottom of the bus. <laughs> okay, press T again. Off to school! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, okay, well, this thing's definitely not going to school. It's, uh, it's going somewhere, but it's not going to school. That's a fun build, though. I don't know what that music thing is. I guess I need to play more Trail Makers, because I have, I guess, oh, maybe it's the Boombox? I don't know. I don't know, guys. You guys let me know in the comments what that music is, because um, that's pretty cool. Let's try another creation. Oh, and by the way, that was built by Venture50. Another school bus by the Salties Falcon. <laughs> Getting to school is no longer slow. WSAD for driving, L for lights, O opens side door, E opens emergency exit. Let's check it out. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a... Yeah, see? Skeleton bus. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I guess he has thrusters up front, too. Wait, why are there two thrusters only on one side? I mean, should I be asking these questions, or should I just not worry about it? Is it is, is this like a drift bus? <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's uh, let's give it a go. So, what does O do again? Oh, O opens the side door. Perfect. L opens... Oh, L is lights. There we go. And E opens the emergency door. Excellent. Oh, they're like tilt thrusters. It's so the bus doesn't flip over. Smart. Haha. <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that. There's so the bus doesn't tip over. Check it out. It will it tip itself back? Nope. It will not tip itself back. But it... Rip. <laughs> but it does correct the bus when it's like on the verge of tipping. So that's cool. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. I spoke too soon. Let's try again. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> that's cool. I don't have that one. I don't have that one yet. What does he have controlling the thrusters, though, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, okay, I see. He's got the angle sensors there. Perfect. Well, this thing is cool, man. It's got a lot of seats. A lot of room for activities. And this thing is fast. This will definitely get uh, the kids to school pretty quickly. Let's see how high up we can go with this thing. Whee! <laughs> so, I mean, how much does this thing weigh? Let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, does he have weights on them? No, he's got a lot of... Got a lot of engines on it, which is, I guess, why it weighs so much. But I was like, see, this guy built a, a wireframe bus, and it's probably lighter. Nope. <laughs> I feel like this thing could use maybe even more weight on the bottom, but I don't know. This is cool. That's a cool bus. It reminds me of, like, a tour bus. You know, like a city tour bus, like a double-decker. Are city tours even still a thing, you know, with what's going on in the world? Or has been going on in the world? <laughs> I don't know. Let's check out the next one, guys. Alrighty, up next is another school bus. Man, I guess uh, I wasn't the only one who got the school bus idea for this challenge. I think I'm the only one who got the magic school bus idea so far, though. So, let's uh, let's check this one out. Ooh, <laughs> I love how he's got jetpack seats on the inside. That's awesome. This is a cool bus, guys. This is awesome. This thing is beefy. Sounds like it's got a V8 in there. All right, so let's uh, play with some controls here. Space. Space is horn. I'm not sure what left shift does. Left shift does the lights? Yeah, left shift does the lights. <laughs> cool. What does left control do? Yep, stop sign. Awesome. <laughs> and then left shift for the lights. Perfect. There we go. Cool, so this guy literally had the same idea as I did. I like that. I like that. Great minds think alike. <laughs> this is cool. I really like this bus. I wonder... Cool. Oh, the back door opens. The side door opens. I like that door. That's a cool door. But see what I mean, guys? It's a four-wide door. And for my bus, it just... It felt too wide, you know? It felt a little too wide. That's a cool bus. I'm really digging this one. Let's go take the kids to school. Whee! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there goes the whole front end. Oh, yeah, he's got two V8s in there. Beautiful. Well, this is a neat bus. I'm digging this one. I mean, I like all of them, but this one... This one reminds me of mine the most. That's probably why I like it, because I, I still like mine the most. <laughs> no offense to anybody else, obviously. You gotta be proud of your creation, right? Alrighty, up next is... Uh, oh, that was by... Whoa, I never read this. So that one was by Robin Yiff. 
Known for their iconic colors and features, the Thomas Built Buses Company- Oh, it's a short bus. Awesome. I used to ride the short bus to school. <laughs> oh, man. It's- Dude, he gave, like, a whole, like, wiki article on this thing. That's awesome. And I'm pretty sure he probably wrote this himself. Anti-roll technology built in. That's interesting. Working side entrance. Yep, yep. American right lane configuration. <laughs> Six passenger seats for a big lobby. Perfect. Under five cores of use with still plenty of grunt near highway top speed. That's cool. So what does he do for his stabilization? I wonder. Is it this thing? Is it? Yeah. Helicopter engine, it seems. Probably a helicopter engine and... Uh, oh, nice. He did a switch here. Uh, probably a helicopter engine and uh, an angle sensor, I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume there's an angle sensor in here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> for some reason, it's not letting me edit it. Oh, right, because I don't have any of these things. That's why it's not letting me edit it. I'm just gonna quickly dig into here. Sorry, man, I know I'm breaking your thing, but I just want to see where, where the sensor is. Is there a sensor? I don't know. Last time I took apart somebody's creation on camera. Ah, there they are. Perfect. <laughs> Last time I took apart somebody's creation on camera, I got reamed apart in the comments. So I try to tread carefully when I mess with other people's creations now, but I had to figure out where I could put the sensors. So cool, cool. That's actually one thing that I did not put into my bus is uh, like an anti-roll device. That would have been really cool. But my bus has so much stuff in it already that I don't even know where I would fit it. Alrighty, up next is a locker by Explo 101. Back to school, I guess. This is where I spend the most time without even knowing. Backpack is where you can enter the build, only the door closes. Missing blocks. I got a lot of missing blocks. Holy moly, he built a giant locker. That's so cool. What? What? That's so cool, man. He's got shoes. Oh, I love it. This is awesome. Can we get into here? Backpack, perfect. What does this do? Oh! Ha! <laughs> when you get into the backpack, you can open and close the door. This is so cool, guys. Man, who built this again? Explo? No. Yeah, Explo 101. Dude, this is awesome. This is so cool. I love this. When I first saw it, I'm like, it looks kind of small. But now I realize how terribly wrong I was. He's got a binder in here. Are those nerf darts? Do you have nerf darts? Either nerf darts or cigarettes. Are those cigarettes? You better not be smoking in school, bud. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Got some coins in there. Pencil box, a water bottle. Dude, this is so cool. Seriously, he's got hooks. Backpack hanging on the hook. Alrighty, bye. <laughs> this is awesome, Sam. I can only assume your name is Sam because that's what it says in the locker. But this is, this is way cool, dude. I love it. I love it. This is awesome. So much detail. <laughs> Alrighty, let's check out another one. A school dude by Crumbie G. Just a normal children... What? Okay, well, we're not gonna, um... Yeah. Um, kind of a controversial build, I guess. What? Okay, let's try that again. What exactly does this build do? Other than make me feel uncomfortable with the description. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fair. Well, I don't know how uh, wholesome this uh, this build is, guys, but <clears throat> definitely definitely a lot of effort went into it. I, I'll I'll tell you that much. All I can say, Crumby G, is if you need someone to talk to, dude, just uh, just let me know, okay? Because uh, I don't know, you got me a little worried here, bud. Alrighty, up next is a crayon. I think it's a crayon. <laughs> School challenge by Solomon Roku. Let's see what this is. It's I think it's a crayon or like a pencil. Yeah, it's a pencil It's it, it's 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 a pencil. I love it. It's a really fast pencil. Oh boy Oh boy, no anti-roll features on this one either, but you know, he's just following the true Cosmo fashion. Alrighty Let's launch this thing Ever seen a flying pencil? Oh, <laughs> ever seen a flying pencil tip? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The camera is going all crazy. Alrighty, let's land here. Let's land here and check out the last one. That that pencil's pretty cool, though. Not gonna lie. It's a pretty cool pen. I can only assume it's a pencil. I don't know. Maybe it's a highlighter. I don't know. And another school bus by Ann Winnity. WSAD for drive, E extend guns, cure track guns, space fire, toggle headlights, bus stop mode. Alrighty, let's check this out. This bus reminds me uh, of my bus, actually. 
Uh, it seems very similar in that sense. Uh, I'm not by any means saying we copied each other, I'm just saying that this looks pretty close to my bus. Much bigger than my bus too, oh my goodness, look at those guns. Alrighty, let's get into this thing. Perfect, let's repair it, because I think I broke it, and let's drive it around. How did he do his wheel wells? Oh, okay, so he did it with those. Wheel wells are so hard to do in this game because I always try and make them nice and I just, uh, you know, there's not enough curvy blocks. There's not enough inwards curvy blocks to make cool wheel wells. Devs, please make inwards curvy blocks. Please. I love you a long time. <laughs> so this thing's cool. It's, uh, it's also pretty back heavy, just like mine. Let's see what it does, though. So space... Oh, space just shoots the inside of the guns. Right, should probably extend the guns first. Q brings them in even further? That's odd. Okay, extend, E. Nope. Okay, let's let's reset the whole bus. There we go. Extend the guns. Those are the lights. And bus stop. Oh, he's even got the stick up front. He's even got the stick up front. That's awesome. <laughs> I was going to do a stick up front, but I don't think my style school bus had a stick up front. So I just never put one on there. But I guess this is like a Twisted Metal school bus. You know, like if you guys ever played Twisted Metal, I don't think they ever had a school bus. But if they did, I, I feel like that's what this would be. It, it would be the, the Twisted Metal school bus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yo, yo that solid axle. Beautiful. This thing's killer. Good stuff. <laughs> Literally, because <laughs> it's got guns on it. Oh boy. There it is, guys. I think... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's check once more on the workshop, see if anybody else has uploaded anything. I don't think so. I don't think so. Is there anything that's Magic School Bus related? I don't see one. I don't see a Magic School Bus, guys. Do I literally have the only Magic School Bus on the entire workshop? There's a lot of militarized school buses for some reason. <laughs> I'm not seeing any Magic School Buses though, guys. If you guys know of anybody who's built a Magic School Bus in Trailmakers, drop it in the comments below. I'd be really excited to check it out. Look at this, look at this. These are all weaponized school buses. What's going on? Do you guys hate school that much? <laughs> but no, seriously, it's... Uh... Keep that stuff in game. Alrighty. Well, I don't think I see any... Ooh, the magic school bus. Oh, another magic school bus. So there are other magic school buses. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. But yeah, guys, if you uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know, if you enjoyed me showing off uh, some weekly challenge workshop builds, if you enjoyed, uh, you know, watching me show off mine, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe I'll keep doing a bit more of these challenges. <laughs> that was so sketchy. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll make it a thing. Maybe if I like the weekly challenges, I'll just end up doing videos on them. And maybe even time-lapse the build so that you guys can see how I got to this point. But in any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing what you guys think. Leave a like, please, as well. It really helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe with notifications on so that you can stay up to date with all the future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!